guys, I'm Mark from MarkPetersPhotography.com and today we are going to work on part 2 of our two-part series on developing film. In part 1 we showed you how to load the film onto the reels and get them into the tanks so that they're ready for development. Today we are going to show you how to mix up some developer. We're going to use Kodak HC 110 today and we are going to use some Ilford Rapid Fixer for the fix and we're just actually going to use a just a water rinse for the stop bath. The fixer I've already mixed up back a couple of weeks ago and I've already used it eight times on eight different rolls of film so we will do a little check to see if the fixer is still good to use. So let's get started with the fixer. <coughs> So we're going to use a small beaker here and we're going to cut off a little piece of film that is the same film as that we're using. Just going to cut off a little bit. This is part of the leader of that roll of film that's actually in there. Just put it in the beaker and then we're going to pour in some fixer. Just like that. And then we're going to set our timer for about five minutes. Generally, it'll take about a minute and a half to two minutes for the fixer to do its job. And when we're actually going to fix the film, we are going to want to double the time that we get. So generally, I usually fix my film for about five minutes. So we'll let that sit there for a bit. And then we'll see if that clears it. So, I know from you know doing this is that I'm going to need for that tank 300 milliliters of solution. So I'm going to need about 6 milliliters of the HC110 and 294 milliliters of water. And we want to make sure that the water is at 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So, I usually use a graduate to measure out to measure out the developer. Um, you can also use the syringe as well because this developer is actually really quite syrupy. So it actually will stick to the sides. So hence using a syringe is probably better than doing this. So we're gonna pour out six milliliters of this. And there we go. Check our film. It's done its job. And we are about two minutes in now. So we'll pour the fixer back into the, into the bottle here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but you can see where the, the film was actually touching the bottom of the of the the jar, and over here it's clear, and over there it's not. But that'll do. Um, you also maybe notice that it's got a purple color to it. That's fine. That actually rinses off when you actually do the water rinse later on. So as long as it's clear, we're good to go. Okay. Out here. So we got six milliliters of developer ready to go. Now we're going to have to measure out some water, and we want this water to be 20 degrees or 68 Fahrenheit. We'll use this thermometer here, and we'll use this basin. Start the water running. Let that warm up.
that'll be enough water. So we'll grab my beaker here. Uh, I always use the same beakers for developer, the same ones for fixer, and the same ones for stop. That way it kind of cuts out on some cross-contamination because you might not always get them as clean as you would like. We'll start by pouring the developer in there. And then we'll use this big graduate here to measure out. Rinse out a little beaker. All right, so that's 200. And now we just need 94 milliliters to make that an even 300. And we'll go ahead and we'll stir that. And then we are ready to go. I will place the, my fixer into this bin as well. Put the developer in there as well. That way it all kind of warms up at the same temperature. Because uh, if there's one thing that's important about you know developing film, it's all about consistency in your temperatures, in your timing, in your agitation. It's very important. All right, so grab our tank, open it up, and we'll set our timer to the proper time. And I, and I know with HP5 plus film and HC110 developer mixed at Dilution E, which is one, one part developer, 47 parts water. This will turn out to be about seven and a half minutes. So we'll set our timer to seven and a half minutes. And here we go, we'll pour it in. And then once we are just about done pouring, we'll turn on the timer, put the lid on, agitate it four times. Slam it down to dislodge any air bubbles. Give it a little burp to this release the pressure. And then we wait for a minute. So every minute we do four rotations. We agitate it for 10 seconds. So you try to get four agitations or four rotations in 10 seconds every minute. <clears throat> now for the fixer, I use Ilford Rapid Fixer. It seems to do the job just fine. I know there's a lot of discussion about what developer to use. Um, there is a lot of developers, like I'm using Kodak uh, HC110 right now. But I have used uh, Ilford's ID11 before and which is the same as the Kodak D76. Really no, no difference in the powder developer. The only thing with the powder developers is, is they will, they don't last very long when you mix up a batch because of oxidization. When it gets in contact with oxygen, it goes bad. So that's why I like using the liquid concentrate. It doesn't oxidize, so you can use it forever. It doesn't go bad. When you start out developing film for the first time, it's generally easiest to stick with all one brand. So if you stick with, if you're using Ilford film, it's generally easiest to use the Ilford 
uh, developers because all the information you need for developing the film at what temperature and what time is written inside the package or in the data sheets. If you're starting to use different types of developer um, with different types of film, you're going to have to do some more research. And a great place to find that information is on a website that is www.digitaltruth.com slash devchart.php. And basically on that website, it is just full with information on the film. You just select what type of film you're using, what type of developer you're using, and it'll, it'll give you the uh, development times. We're getting close to uh, the end of the development cycle, so we're going to want to start running the water again for a stop bath at this point. Okay, we'll have to do one more agitation. Now we can just take the lid off already. And since this is a one time or a one shot developer, We'll just pour this out when we're done with it. Just make sure you keep the light seal, you know, intact. We'll get that box, that bottle of develop or fixer open. Fixer. There we go. We'll set the timer for five minutes. And then we do the same thing with your agitation. At this point, temperature and agitation isn't as critical anymore. But as I said before, it's all about consistency. So you're gonna to wanna to try to do everything the same every time. After you've got it all nailed down and you've been doing this for a while, you can start tweaking stuff. If you wanna get more green, less green, um, you know, more of a shoulder, more of a toe in your, in your negatives, then you know, you can tweak it from there or even try some different developers that are good for that. Maybe even try some stand development. That's pretty cool. Okay, now that the fixing cycle has been completed, we'll pour the fixer back in the bottle. And we'll start the water rinse. And we'll set our timer for 10 minutes. And 
There we go. Now that that's rinsing, we'll mix up some photo flow. And the photo flow is used for, um, it's basically a soap and it breaks the water, the, the surface tension of the water. That way when your film dries, it dries more evenly without um, any water stains. Um, it's not always a necessary step depending on your quality of your water or if you're using filtered or distilled water or this rinsing step. So we'll start out by grabbing some of that water that we got. That'll do. Pour in a little bit of photo flow. I think the directions is one to 200. So one part photo, photo flow, uh, 200 parts water. We'll mix that, so that'll be good to go. We can dump this out. Right. While it's rinsing with water, since that takes 10 minutes, I usually like to take that time to clean up. The water rinse is done. Now, <clears throat> you guys will probably remember from part one where this was actually a huge piece of scrap film. So I'm actually kind of curious what it looks like, but it's most likely completely clear because it was exposed to the light. Actually, it'd be completely black, I guess. Which, by the looks of this, it is. Perfect. Okay, so we'll put that back, put in some photo flow. The photo flow generally continues agitation 10 seconds or so. And then we'll take it out and we'll hang it. There we go. completely black piece of film. Okay, so a nice piece of completely black film because it was exposed to the light, so it's completely scrap. So, one pin at the top. Couple at the bottom for some weight. We'll let that dry overnight. Generally, if you do this in the evening, the next morning, it's ready to go. Then we can cut them up. And well, not that one, but the one beside it that I did earlier today. We can cut it up and 
put it in a sleeve, make some test prints, and that's it. Okay. Thank you for watching MarkPetersPhotography.com, and we'll see you next time.